The Morgan Report with David Morgan. Discover how to build and protect your wealth at themorganreport.com. David Morgan of themorganreport.com. For the week ending 23 February 2024, well, another month is almost gone. And here we are. So I'm going to try to make this one brief. Right now, uh, people that aren't familiar with the website, if you want to learn more about yours truly and what we do here, it's on the About tab, which I just brought down. I want to bring your attention to this Four Horsemen featured documentary. <clears throat> it's an hour and 40 minutes long, and it's free. So you can watch it off of YouTube. Just hit the YouTube tab right there, and you can watch away, or you can hit the Go button and watch it as well probably the most important thing this week and it's not because i was involved although i was and that was an interview with uh i call him a maverick in the industry and that's mr keith newmeyer keith and i have got a long history i met him i think in germany not in canada for the first time years ago and uh frank veneroso had just come out with the gold book of talking about how much leasing was being done in the gold market and that the Numbers really didn't add up, and GATA was just getting started way back then. Anyway, not to make this a history lesson of my knowledge about, you know, getting started in the in the industry uh, in the Internet days, but <clears throat> this is a interview. Then Keith was really spearheaded this uh, letter that it was uh, 20 uh, industry leaders written to a uh, Canadian minister of, I think, uh, Natural Resources, the exact title is in the um, interview, as well as a link to the letter. In fact, let me just bring that up. So if you click through, you can see I've got the letter here, and you can read that and watch the interview. The case is that silver should be a critical min mineral. It's not. Um, it was addressed to the Honorable Jonathan Wilkinson, Minister of Energy and Natural Resources, Again, you can read the letter. It's on the internet already. This is fairly well known amongst the uh, silver community, but probably not by a whole lot else. So I want to get the uh, distribution out there with, you know, my Twitter account, my social media, my podcast, etc. So if you don't do anything else over the weekend or over the next week or so, please take the time to at least uh, listen to the interview or fast forward it, listen to it twice the speed or whatever you can handle. But it's very well done and it is important for everyone to know how interesting it is that silver is not considered a critical mineral uh, this came out this week gold at 3000 and oil at 100 by 2025 city analysts don't rule it out i won't read it to you i think the headline's enough but as we know as you know from listening to these podcasts the sweeping perspectives that gold is being gobbled up by the central banks and now even uh, Mr. Drunken Miller and another fund manager of clout have started moving out of the tech sector and into the gold market. So the smart money moves in first and then uh, it flows upstream and finally the general public gets into it. And when everybody's speaking gold every week, um, that's usually a top, but we're far from a top. But 3,000 gold by 2025, I would certainly agree with that. The asset, this is uh, circulation around the world, of course, but also in China. Central banks bulk up on bullion gold meets diversification needs amid rising geopolitical tensions. Indeed, it does. Now, let's bring this one out. <clears throat> Matt Watson sent this to me. This is from Medrivia, the therapeutic potential of silver nanoparticles synthesized from the discolor extract i won't read it to you very interesting basically what it's saying is that there's a breakthrough in medicine and health with silver which you already know i mean silver is used as a biocide purifies water it kills almost anything uh it's amazing as far as what its medicinal properties are and this article goes through that and if you want to look it up just um pay attention to this video and you can uh google m-e-d-r-i-v-a and with the title here, which I'll scroll back to slowly, Therapeutic Potential of Silver Nanoparticles. On the same topic of nanoparticles, this is from Food Chemistry Science Direct, wrote it, navigating the development of silver nanoparticles-based food analysis through the power of artificial intelligence. Very interesting article. This is 
nah, not really an academic read. Anyone can read this. But the, <clears throat> the perpetual quest to ensure the safety and quality of food, the landscape of food analysis is in a constant state of evolution, driven by the need for innovative solutions to address emerging challenges. It is crucial to contextualize the advancements within the broader challenges the food industry faces, particularly concerning the freshness of food products. These products rich in essential nutrients, blah, 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 blah. Basically what they say is, hey, if we put some silver nanoparticles through the process, guess what? We have got a problem solved. And of course, I think I'd rather have silver nanoparticles than some of these other nanoparticles that um, a lot of you are familiar with. And I won't say much more than that. I don't need another strike on YouTube. So I got a few words about uh, platinum this week. The market watch Anglo-American platinum restructuring could affect around 4,300 jobs. Anglo-American platinum said more than 4,300 jobs will be affected in its restructuring as it grapples with lower prices, rising costs, and an uncertain outlook. Remember, I think I've said it every other time, but uh, South Africa produces roughly 70, perhaps 75% of the platinum, and they've got problems. They've got electrical problems grid issues, they've got labor problems, and they've got a price problem with what it costs to extract platinum out of the ground and what it sells for. So, so bullish on it. It's certainly not your first choice in a precious metal. If you're going to go with one, I'd choose gold. If you're going to choose two, I would choose silver and gold. And if you're going to go with three, it would be gold, silver, and platinum. I'm not bullish on palladium anymore. We made a nice run with it at the right time. Timing is everything, as the adage goes. And, um, uh, Platinum, I think, is where it is at in the PGMs currently. Another article on the PGMs from Market Watch: Platinum rises from ashes to outperform palladium. What's next? You can look up this article. Obviously, they're bullish on platinum. Platinum futures briefly topped palladiums in early February. And as I announced to our premium members, I um, exited the trade I had on for months which was long platinum, short palladium. And that worked out really, really well. <clears throat> Once they got to about par, which this graph shows, is when I uh, decided that was enough is enough. I don't have to get every penny. Uh, will that ratio continue? It may, but I think it's about done. When they're at par, which at one time they were not, obviously from that chart, you can see how well that did. And... You don't have to be, you have to be right on the spread, but you don't have to be right in both directions. So I was short palladium, which you can see it was down, down, down to the burning ring of fire. And I was long platinum, but really platinum just really went sideways. It really didn't go up, but palladium did go down. So you can be half right and still make a lot of money on a spread trade. And for those that are technically oriented, this is from bar chart. Platinum monthly Elliott wave chart, and it makes the argument that platinum is in a bottoming process. Right now, <clears throat> there's a great deal of uh, miners in, in the PGMs, platinum group metals, that are underwater. And I just showed you Anglo. They're in really bad shape. So something's got to give, and that means mine shut down, which would mean less platinum or PGMs come into service and or change in price they make an argument here for a change in price we're looking here this is the projection for you elliot people and it's down a little bit more and then boom going back up um <clears throat> and i'm looking for platinum to get back up to the 2000 range i think platinum will get back to par with gold just like palladium and platinum got to par they at the same price even though palladium was like twice the price of platinum at one time. And right now gold is twice the price of platinum. Uh, I think you're going to see near the top of this next bull run where platinum sells for the same price as gold, or perhaps higher. So if you're a real risk taker, um, you could consider buying gold at half price, which means buy platinum now and then swap it into gold. But that's for you to decide. I'm just telling you something to think about. So that'll wrap it up for this week's Weekly Perspective. This is David Morgan with MorganReport.com. And just ending with the SilverSunrise.tv landing page, I got a very interesting uh, email today, someone that I want in the documentary that said, yes, 
I'll hold back on his name because he is well known worldwide and uh, <clears throat> got the commitment verbally or by email. And I won't announce it until we actually have it in the can, but it was very exciting for me. So stay tuned. It's going to take a while to put this documentary together, but we are making progress. I'll leave it for there. I'll be back with you next week. What if I told you that you could go broke in less than 24 hours? That's how long it took for the Dow Jones Industrial Average to plunge by nearly 22%, losing investors billions overnight. The same happened to the FTX crypto exchange and Terra Luna stablecoin. Both crashed overnight, losing crypto investors billions. You need a strategy that will protect whatever amount of savings you have now. We are going to witness the greatest transfer of wealth that has ever occurred in recorded history, and you must understand the following. You can absolutely go broke in one day. We've been helping subscribers weather this economic mess for years. Now it's time for you to get the same insights. What really happens during a major collapse is that the wealth changes hands. You will actually benefit by looking ahead and knowing exactly how to build and preserve your wealth. Putting just 10% or 20% of your wealth into our approach could make all the difference in your financial security and peace of mind over the next few years. Discover The Morgan Report today. Visit our site at themorganreport.com.